Hey there, Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos. Always appreciate when you watch what we do as we head up to the Costco Business Center in Orlando. Um, yeah, we're down in Orlando for vacation and we just want to swing into the Costco Business Center to see uh, if they've got anything new. We're not really going to do a lot of shopping, I don't think. So if you want to just hang tight, we'll get parked. Before we do that, though, love for you to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already done so. Also, get that bell notification button below. That'll get you notified when we put up future videos. And please hit the like button, too. That helps us out immensely. So let's get parked. We'll head on to the Costco Business Center here in Orlando and see what they got inside. Not a bad price for Pepsi. 36 pack for $15.49, a little bit more than what we're paying in Fort Wayne, uh, but not a bad price here in Orlando because I, I just paid almost $7. I think it was $7 for a 12 pack of Diet Coke. $7.19 for a 12 pack of Diet Coke at Target on our first stop. Yeah. Oh, pineapple cake. That is something different. I usually do not see pineapple cakes. I do like pineapple, but I don't know if I like pineapple cake. Uh, we're really not going to buy anything for the most part, I don't think, unless we see something really interesting. And boba milk tea mochi. 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 I know that Andy likes mochi. Oh, I know why. Because um, you know what's coming up soon? What? Chinese New Year. That's right. That's why they have all this stuff here. So right now it's Chinese New Year, Year of the Snake is now, but Chinese New Year is coming up. And it's going to be, what, the Year of the Rabbit, right? Yes, the Year of Rabbit. So how Chinese New Year works is every 12 years it cycles over. And you're the Year of the Horse. I am the horse. And I'm a dog. Yes. So. And it's interesting um, for that, the dog and the horse are companions. Yeah. So we work together. Well, most of the time. Most of the time, I guess. We're just kind of looking right now. We're just kind of gathering. Well, we have actually, uh, we're here for a reason because we are here to get some stuff for this week. Yeah. That we're here in Orlando to save a little bit of money because as you know, as you travel, there is sticker shock. Mm -hmm. And then this is the closest Costco that is close to the Disney theme parks. And one of the sticker shocks we got was when I bought a 12 pack of Diet Coke for over $7. Right, but we're not going to buy 36, but we may just... It all depends on how much you want to buy. And at the end, what we usually do is we just post it on a Facebook group to give it away. We'd have too much or we donate it to the local shelters. We yeah, do. they have nor normally most of the um, most of the timeshares here in Orlando have a place at the front where you can donate leftover non-perishables and they'll donate them to the food banks and things like that. So that's actually a great idea. I love I loved to be able to do that because we do like to actually cook in our condo and save money. Yeah, and that's the one thing I was looking for here. Is I was looking actually for steaks. Because, oh yeah, you want to grill out. You want to do steaks in the broiler. Right, because the price of a steak out was like fifty dollars, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I could buy a steak a lot cheaper than that. Yeah, but we're on vacation. Do you know how much I paid for this generator when we bought it uh, six months ago? How much was it? Six ninety nine at our Costco up in Fort Wayne. So there are sales on generators. And I do always recommend getting a generator mm -hmm. if you have power outages in your area. If you, it does happen. Yeah, and this is the one we bought, uh, the 7500. And it's, I like it because it's got a push button start. Oh, you're right, because I don't have to crank it or no. pull the. No, there is a crank on it. I mean, you can crank it if you want, but it's got push button start with a battery. Um, and I do like that. So it really makes it easy. If you need to power it up when I'm not home, you just do a push button start on it. Yeah, I need that for our lawnmower too. A push start, push start, push start on a lawnmower. Yeah, true that. But they do have other other generators here. Oh, good! You get to try out your chair and see if you like it, and see if it's our Costco. Mm. What do you think? It's not bad. I like this. Oh, I do like that. Look Let's at see if that. it goes any higher. Yeah, it's about the right. It's got lumbar. Does it? I like that the way it's set up. How much was it? This one is ninety nine ninety nine. This is the one we saw looked up at our Costco, right? Um, I think so. Let me just get the model number so I can take a look at it. And we'll double check when we get home. I'm not going to buy it here, obviously, and take it home. Right. But if this is the same one, this is not bad. I could live with this. I didn't want to buy it up there until I was able to try it out. That's not bad. I do need a new chair, though. These were on clearance at our Costco 
and I think they were five bucks each on yes, clearance. Yes, they were. Five bucks each, and we bought four, our grandkids. Five bucks each, eighteen ninety nine here, but again, on clearance at our Costco for five bucks each, these same chairs. So we bought a 24 pack of eight ounce, eight bottles. ounce bottles at Target for the same price as I'm paying for 40 half liter bottles here at Costco. But it was late at night when we went to Target and we just wanted to get to our room. Am I getting one or we're going to go through two of these or one of these? We'll go through probably two of those. Okay, that's what I thought. Between now and the end of the week. Right. So the trick about water when we go in the parks, because it's sort of going to get warm at the end of the week, is we actually have a freezer in our where we're staying, mm -hmm. and then we pour a little bit off the top, or drink a little bit off the top, and then we throw or do a half bottle, mm -hmm. and then we freeze the water bottle, and the next day we use that as an ice pack in our cooler. Yeah, yeah, we have a. a, a backpack cooler that we take into the park with us. You can take water into the parks, any of the parks. You can take food into the park just as long as it's not glass containers. Yeah. Disney does not tell you this, but in order to save money there, and if you're going in with a family of four, six, even three or two, to save a little bit of money in the parks, you could bring any kind of food in there and any kind of non-alcoholic drink just as long as it's not in glass bottles. Yeah into the parks. Mm -hmm. I've seen people walk in to the park with those roll behind um, thermal, thermal coolers. Technically you're not supposed to have that. Well, to... I've seen people go in with those. Right, but technically you're not supposed to. And then we did see last time when we were there. Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody brought their entire lunch right. and uh, in a backpack cooler, which we do have a backpack right. cooler, um, and just sat down at a table and they, I mean, they had the full spread. Right. And they, it was a huge container too. They had like a big bowl of salads and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And each of the kids who was there had like a plate or a bowl and was eating from there. If you know the prices of Disney food, and Disney food is expensive, don't get me wrong, um, but you can take your own food and you can take your own sandwiches and you can take your own water. You can take your own soda as long as it's in a plastic container. Bananas, honey. Dollar thirty-nine a pound. No, for three, three pounds. pounds. We want this one once a little bit not green. Oh, they're Pretty no, green. they're all green. Okay, so we'll we'll have to pass on this. Yeah, we'll pass on this. Oh no, there's so. some right here. No, they're kind of beat up actually. Back here. Oh, how about that? Oh, I think I found one. Right here. Sometimes you just have to look. Okay. There we are. That's not bad. Yeah, I can live with that. We'll go through eight bananas or seven. Oh, yeah, we'll go through seven bananas. Because bananas here is at least 70 something cents a pound, so we get actually saving a lot of money. Yeah, if you take a dollar 39 divided by three pounds. 46. So yeah. It's still about as cheap as what we pay at Kroger. Actually, it's cheaper than what we pay at Kroger. Because that went up to 55 cents a pound now at our Kroger. And I think I want a fruit, remember? You want to look at steaks, right? Steaks and fruit. I'm glad I'm wearing a hoodie in here. Yeah. I would like some grapes. Grapes. I wanted grapes. What'd you want to get? Grapes and strawberries and berries. Okay, that's on the other side. They have everything in a giant cooler here. Uh, meats, milk, everything in this one giant cooler section. Oh, these look pretty good too. Corn on the cob? Oh, yeah. Well, you won't go through eight of them, though. We'll go through six of them. You always have to think, honey, uh, how much we're going to go through by the end of the week of perishables because we can't donate perishables. That's true. Blackberries for three ninety nine. Blueberries for four ninety nine. You like blueberries? I That's... will go through those blueberries. So I'll get blueberries. Always want to look and make sure you don't get any moldy ones. They don't have any green grapes. 
Yeah, they don't have green grapes. Oh, by the way, the grapes here are inside the cooler. Yep. To add to the controversy of the cooler, do grapes get go in a cooler or refrigerator or not? I think I'm going to grab the um, because we're getting steak. Right. I think I'm going to grab the corn. Grab what? The corn. Okay. It's actually a good price for corn on the cob. Mm -hmm. um, eight uh, eight years for uh, four sixty nine, four fifty nine. And it's already already husked. Yeah. You like that one? That's fine. Steaks are going to be down here. Meats. Mm -hmm. We'll probably do and treat ourselves to probably filet mignon or something. Oh, eggs. So we're not going to eat buy eggs because this is way too many eggs for us. Yeah. $74.99 for 15 dozen eggs. Hang on, I want to figure that out. Hold on. Right there. $4.99 per dozen. Oh, okay, it's right there. $4.99 a dozen. There's the organic range free. That's a three seventy nine a dozen. That's not bad. Yeah. There's ribeyes. It's a four pack of ribeyes. Yeah, they're all four packs. Here we go. Just tomahawk. Oh, that's the bone in, isn't yeah. it? Actually, not a bad price for ribeyes, to be honest with you. Fifteen point nine, right into the tomahawk. Yeah, I'd rather not get them here though, because we won't use four. So that's what you got—the top sirloins. Yeah, I got four top sirloins, six for eight ounce six, and it was eighteen ninety nine. That's not a bad price. And we do have salt and pepper, so I'll just do salt and pepper it. And that's enough for basically two meals, huh? This I know that you um, do a different kind of rub though on steaks when we do it at home, but I'm not going to buy a big thing of rub. They do have fresh fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm so glad potatoes came down in price. Look at the price of that. Ten pound bag for three ninety seven. They did come down in price. And then the difference is because we are in a Costco business center they have bigger amounts mm -hmm. like 50 pound box for 19.97 so that's the difference between a business center and also the one thing about the business center they do not have the rotisserie chicken at this particular one no it's kind of I, I do like the rotisserie chicken Yeah, we mentioned that this is obviously the business Costco, so they're going to cater more to restaurants, too. So they've got big sizes of things. French fries, onion rings. Shredded Orida, shredded hash browns in the box. But they do have the smaller ones that we normally get at our Costco. There's bread there. Okay. There's my wontons, are my favorite wontons that we always buy, the Bibigo mini wontons for eleven sixty nine. Our they pot have, stickers. Yeah, the chicken pot stickers. They don't have the pork pot stickers, unfortunately, which I like. Oh, that's different. What? You see, our Costco does not have the Uncrustables. No, we have to get the Uncrustables at Sam's Club. So this is something different down here. But this is great when you're down here, and that's a great thing to go buy and freeze for the theme parks because mm -hmm. Disney charges six fifty nine for an acrustable for the kids. Plus, that also includes it does include two sides, which is like grapes and apples plus a drink. So we need to have some kind of like a roll with our steak. I think. Mm -hmm. 
see what they've got in dinner rolls. They may not. They may not. If, it, if they don't, we can get them to uh, Publix when we go. Seventeen forty nine for a thirty five pack. It's a dollar more than I think what we're paying. I think we're paying sixteen forty nine or sixteen fifty nine mm -hmm. for a thirty five pack right now. But we're not going to go through it. No. We don't drink that much soda. We've got the uh, four pack of two liters for eight sixty nine. And again, we're not going to go through that much diet soda. But we don't have the four packs like that. We do not. At our Costco. So this is four packs of Sprite Coke. Oh, I like this. Look at the, all the glass bottle differences. Mm -hmm. So they have the Coca-Cola Fiesta Variety Pack. I've always liked Coke in a glass bottle better anyway. Yeah, for $32.99. Kind of pricey. And then they have Coca-Cola that's made with pure cane sugar. Or yeah. thirty four ninety nine. You're gonna pay a dollar forty five a bottle for though. Each bottle is a dollar forty five. And I do have other items down here. Barritos variety glass. Mm. Mandarin orange soda. That's twenty three ninety nine for a thirty count. I love orange soda. And I do have it in Sid. Droll Monday. I'm pronouncing it wrong, but you know, yeah. whatever. Uh, Doritos Fruit Punch. They've got that. Sangria. Is that really sangria? Sangria. Is that really wine? Uh, non alcoholic. Oh, non alcoholic. Okay. And then tamarind. Lime. Lime. Pineapple. Yeah, this is all stuff that we don't have at our Costco. And then uh, Malta India Loose Case Pack. All stuff we don't have. Oh, do you have alcohol? Maybe I might get a bottle of wine here. I don't know if they have alcohol here. They might. Oh, I think I see alcohol. I see sparkling cider, but I don't know if I see alcohol. Red Bull gives you wings. Yeah, I don't know if they do alcohol here or not. I'm gonna go down the snack aisle. Which one do you want to go down? Take a pick. Uh, get on the next one. Because again, we're looking at stuff that we don't have. There you go. They have bigger boxes. Yeah, they've got the boxes. These are vending packs, is what these are go into vending machines, but you can buy a box of these and use them for snacks and lunch boxes. Yeah, they even say vending and food service right on the box. Here's the vending and food service Fritos corn chip, 64 count, two ounces for? $34.99. And that is going away because the star is on it. Mm -hmm. Next to it is? Munchies Cheese Fix, $34.99. There's no star on that one. Cheetos. Cheetos Crunchy for $34.99. They have Ruffles Sour Cream and Cheddar, which I actually like that. $34.99. Sour Cream and Onion, $34.99. Crunchy Hot Cheetos, $34.99. Doritos Nacho, $34.99. Lay's Barbecue Chips, $34.99. And finally, Ole Mexican Foods Round Tortilla Chips, fourteen ninety nine for that. That's six counts, two pounds for each bag. Mm hmm So lots of different ones here. I've never seen Candy Pop at ours. What's Candy Pop? I have no idea. Candy Pop Snickers. That is different. Snickers, they've got Sour Patch. That's different. Mm hmm I've never seen that before. Candy Pop Sour Patch Popcorn. Really? Twelve ninety nine. How about Popcornopolis? I have seen Popcornopolis. They have that here. There's your skinny pop. 
Yeah, I love that they're very different. They even have the variety pack of Skinny Pop. 36 count, we're not going to go through 36. You like Pirate's Booty. Uh, no, I don't. But I do like Cracker Jack. They still put a toy in. Even in the smaller packs? They still put a toy in, a prize inside. Wow. Even in the small Cracker Jacks, they put a toy in. Wow. That's a... Buy me some peanuts Actually, and Cracker Jacks. You would you like to buy Cracker Jacks? No. Do you like Cracker Jacks? You're going to go through 30 of them? I could take it home. Yeah. We don't have Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I never come back because it's root toot toot for the Yankees. Where's that from? Oh, no, it's, it's just, that's a buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I ever come back because it's root toot toot for the ball team. If they don't win, it's a shame. You never heard that? No, I haven't. Because it's one, two, three strikes you're well, out I have of. To, yes, yeah. I've heard that one. Thank you. Knott's Berry Farm Strawberry and Raspberry uh, Bite Size Cookies. The 36 count two ounce package, ten ninety nine. Same thing for the Raspberry Shortbread. These, and I know you really like these. I actually do like these. These are good snacks. Do you like the strawberry or the raspberry? I like the strawberry. I like the strawberry. Like these the, are good snacks to take into the park. Will we go through 36 packs? No. Or will we take that home? We were already taking Cracker Jacks home, remember? Okay, fine. I tried. So these are things that we don't have at our Costco. Yeah. They do have a lot more, because again, you're in a much more multicultural city too, of Orlando than where we're at. Yes, that is true. So they have a lot more variety. And this is also a lot bigger than our Costco. Is it? Yes, much bigger than our Costco. Well, Nutrient Nutri Green Bars is on sale here, and we do have Nutrient Green Bars at home at this Costco. Sixteen sixty nine down three fifty to thirteen ninety nine. I did buy them last time; they were on sale. Mm hmm. They have moon pies. Yes, we don't have moon pies. They have moon pies here. I used to love moon pies when I was growing up in New York. And the moon pies here are? Well, the banana ones are ten fifty nine. The chocolate ones are nine ninety nine. I'm tempted. You got your Cracker Jacks. I'm tempted. And they do have Pop-Tarts here, and they do have the strawberry flavored Pop-Tarts that we don't have. These are a dollar cheaper than what we pay. Aren't we paying like ten sixty nine? Yes, we are at Sam's pack? Club. Yeah, at Sam's Club. They don't have, they only have it, our Costco is the brown sugar cinnamon strawberry. They don't have the strawberry by itself. We have to get that at Sam's Club, and it's a dollar more at Sam's Club, our Sam's Club anyway. As this is a business Costco, you're going to find a lot of stuff that you're not going to find in your normal Costco, including humongous boxes of cups and plates and utensils and so on and so forth. And you could buy Coca-Cola paper cups? Yep. Logoed Coca-Cola paper cups, 20 ounces. Again, stuff that you would need for your, like a, if you've got a, a convenience store um, or, a, or a restaurant. This is probably where you'd want to come into the business Costco. Right. Along with the paper cups, they also have lids mm -hmm. with a straw slots. So they do go together. So I'm going to wrap things up here at the uh, Costco Business Center. One of the things to keep in mind, uh, the Business Center has a lot more stuff and a lot larger varieties of things because it is a business center that also caters to uh, like convenience stores and restaurants and things like that. But they do have some of the stuff that we like, including the steaks that we got. Right. I wanted steaks, so we got sirloin steaks. 
that's what we got for like eighteen ninety nine for four of them, mm -hmm. which is a great price. And then we got some corn. So we're going to have steak and corn versus going into the parks and pay $50 for a meal. 55 to $60 plus tip. Um, we also got your Cracker Jacks. So yes, I did. Can't forget your Cracker Jacks. So thanks for watching. Thanks for checking it out. Again, the Costco Business Center here in Orlando. Um, if you ever get down to Orlando, check it out. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you checking out our videos as always. If you've not hit that subscribe button below, please do so. Also get that bell notification button below because that'll get you notified when we put up future videos. As always, love for you to hit the like button to help us out immensely. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a magical day.